Hey there guys, my Marquez and in this video I'm going to give you a guide how you can easily use ClickUp for personal use. Now ClickUp uh, is an amazing tool that you can use for your own personal stuff and I recommend to make it like really simple and I'm going to show you like step by step how would I do it and how I do things. So first thing I will do, I will click a new space. Here I'm not going to use a template, I'm going to name a space name personal. Now click next. Here you're going to have the space color. So I'm going to have it like this one. And I'm going to choose, let's say this next. Uh, spaces can be shared with members. You can make it private and add the people if you want to. And now templates. So I'm not going to use any of these like from marketing normal scrum i'm going to use a complete new active statuses so uh, we are going to have our statuses named as let's say of departments in our life so i can add enter a status and have a health then i can have have uh, another one which is going to be sports okay then i can have family now also I can have um, hobbies as let's say I'm reading, uh, I really love reading books, a fantasy. So I can always add links there. I can then also health, family, hobbies. Uh, then I can add gifts, girlfriend that I have. Uh, she's not going to be this color like this and then also I am thinking right now the site project project and my goals so let's say I'm going to have it like this and these are the statuses that I'm going to have and now I'm going to click next and then enable click apps. You can turn off all, but let's see uh, which one we need. So we'd say we can have custom fields, time tracking. Okay, I'm going to disable that. Email is not necessary. Custom fields, all right, tags. Then click also show more. And yeah, this should be it. Then click next here. Now default settings for views, I'm going to have a board view, that's okay. Then also the calendar is great too there. And maybe even the table if I want. Review space. And then create a space. So let's see how it looks like. First thing first, we have the personal. Here. And now what I will do, I'm going to click on the top right show and show empty statuses. So this is the list that we have and we are going to rename it to personal stuff. See, and now we can start working on it. So let's say that my goals, my goals is going to be mm, <laughs> what I want to do in December. Okay, read those two books that I want about off-grid living. Okay, then site project by a standing table. Here on girlfriend, buy a flower, how it's called, flower of a life gift. Now on hobbies, I can go, um, let's check out the water event. And now I can have family. So I can have um, a birthday or someone, right? Of mom upcoming by a cake. Then health. I can simply choose and call a doctor 
for yearly checkup. Then also go to mm, cancel appointment. Okay. And now sports, I can have this like undo Muay Thai, buy a new Muay Thai shorts. So, okay, we have the tasks now. What we can actually do and what we can add here. This is completely up to you. What do we actually need? But okay, assignees understand it's going to be me. Due date, birthday of mom, I can add a due date, which is going to be, let's say, 23, right? Of August. Now, of course, I can have it as a recurring, but I would definitely recommend like adding a reminder for for birthdays that you would be like reminded to. Now, when I have it, uh, I can also click plus here and add a column. So I can come and let's say I'm going to have a drop down, which is going to be a status. And option one is going to be done. Stuck working on it, for example. Now, when I have the status, I will also recommend having the automations. So let's say that I'm going to have, an, I'm going to give you something. When, uh, let's say status changes from Oh, we don't have to do it. You can always do something like that you would come here and then you will set to complete and it will automatically remove. So that's okay. That's something you can have. Status, let's say it's going to be done. And you can also change a color. So, okay, this is going to be like done. And we can have in the moment when it's going to be done, I click here and set to complete. Now when I go even further, I can add a column here and let's say I'm going to add a website if we, if I have so link. But I think there's going to be also a yep, that should be fine. And then also uh, if you want you can have uh, money, right? So let's say that I'm going to add even a new one. Uh, which is going to be called expenses. Now I'll click save here. Okay, we have the expenses here. So I'm going to personal stuff here and I'm going to have list settings, list statuses. Okay. And now it's moved. Every morning do yoga. And what I can have also is uh, the money. And I can add a field name, which is going to be expenses. You can also change the currency here and add a column. So let's say read those do two books. It's going to be, I don't know, 50 euro. Then standing table can be at 250, oh, it costs even more, I think. And then I can add a link here. Flower of life gift costs about 200 euro. Okay. And then uh, like I can have everything here. And then I always can change the date here. So That's pretty much it. And then uh, you would have expenses, right? So let's say I can add uh, pay a rent. Pay a rent, save expenses 2050. And then I can have pay uh, telecommunication. And I can simply change the due date to like let's say it's going to be August September 10 
and set recurring forever monthly. So I know that every September at 10, I'm going to pay uh, rent. So that's really cool what you can do here and how you can uh, use it. For me, this is pretty perfect and pretty easy. So and this is really good. So also the hobbies, hobbies that you, what you want to actually do. So check out the water event. Now also I can add another one in my personal stuff. When I'm going to have the list settings here and list statuses, I can um, add a status work around work in out house. I have something like here. Okay, that's bucked. And I'm going to show you what you can do here. So when I have the personal stuff here, I'm going to list settings, list statuses, work in an our house. And now I can have, let's say, the, the front shield of my car, just like that there was a stone from another car and hit my car. So I'm going to have a repair a car and I can have a status working on it, a link and expenses. This is going to cost me 150 euro. Then I'm going to, I need to clean a car and I'm, I, don't, I don't want to do it tomorrow, but two days from now, probably save. And again, this is not going to cost me anything. So this is how we have it, right? And now let's say this is going to be working on it. And you're always gonna see uh, like your personal stuff. Now, what you can do is just like easily close it up. And you can always, guys, uh, add an emoji or something to your thing here. Now, I'm going to also add not only this. But what I can do is to add my, like every morning, like what I want to do every morning. And I can have, um, let's say, personal stuff. I'm going to have a list settings here, a list statuses, and I can add, uh, enter a status, which is going to be morning routine. I can take the morning routine, add it right here. And now I can easily like save it. And right here, so let's say where is the morning routine here? I can add a new task, which is going to be like do stretching, drink, uh, glass of water. So as you can see, it's doing pretty well. Now I have also my morning routine and what I can do, I, you can also like transfer it right here. So you see it always, and you can have also the, the evening one, right? Then let's say you're going to every Monday, Thursday and Friday, I do Muay Thai training. Then I want to do also swimming and while working, then you can have the board here and you can group it by status or you can simply have a custom field status or whatever you want, right? So you see things that you need to done, need to do. So that's something you can do also. And that's something how it works. So that's pretty much it. This is just for me from you, how we can do it. You can do it even more effectively, I believe. But this is pretty much it, what you can do and how we can achieve it. So yeah, my recommendation is also you can use the Gmail. And when you would connect it, click up with your Gmail account, you can make it even more effective. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, if you want to, I can make even like more advanced tutorial on how we can use it with ClickUp. So that's pretty much it. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.